Welcome to Race Face TV and this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had a busy weekend for both the Race Face and Dex drivers and the Race Face drivers, including a historic victory in California. Let's start with 13 year old Jesse Love, who became the youngest driver in our nation's history to win a full size midget race on Saturday night when he outdueled veteran Chad Nicholas to win the 46th annual Harvest Classic for the BCRA Midgets at Madera Speedway in Madera, California. Jesse was racing for highly respected car owner Trez Van Dyke, and the win was his first in that full-size midget series. Now, I could attempt to tell you how this went down, but video is more powerful than words. Watch this short clip. Now, Jesse has the onboard camera, and veteran Chad Nicholas is in the orange number 17. You will need to strap in for this one.
I don't know about you, but that was an amazing drive no matter how old you are. Jesse will be back in the 5150 Junior Late Model Series this weekend at Madera Speedway. Let's stay out west where we find Adam Lemke. He was behind the wheel of his number 98 off-axis USAC Western Midget for a double hitter on both Friday and Saturday night for the Harvest Classic at Madera Speedway. On Friday night, Adam won his heat race, then finished second in the A-Main to Elvis Rankin, who notched his first win of the year. On Saturday night, Adam finished third in the heat race, but was back in victory lane at the end of the A-Main for his 10th win in that series so far this year. Adam leads the points in the dirt, the pavement, and the overall for the 2018 championship. Looks like a triple crown winner to me. Up next for Adam, RPM Pro Late Models at Madera Speedway on September the 22nd. The showstopper Sheldon Creed was at Las Vegas Motor Speedway in his Levine Racing number 40 United Rental Chevrolet for the NASCAR k and Pro Series West Star Nursery 100 on the dirt track Thursday night. There were several top drivers competing in this event, including dirt track specialist turned NASCAR Xfinity Series driver, Christopher Bell. When the green flag dropped, the dust started flying. And before you knew it, all heck broke out because the dust was so bad that it made it almost impossible to see. Bell made a late race miscue on a late restart that put Creed in position to win the race. And that's exactly what he did. For Team Levine, it was the team's first ever win in the NASCAR k and Pro Series. Sheldon's weekend didn't end there. He traveled from Las Vegas to Salem, Indiana to jump in the MDM Motorsports Hardy's Rainier Racing Throwback Toyota for the ARCA Racing Series event. Sheldon finished fourth in that orange and white number 28 and extended his points lead by 405 points with just two races remaining in the season. Up next for Sheldon, he will return to Lucas Oil Raceway on October the 6th, where that race was rained out earlier this month. Oh, by the way, his car was voted best throwback paint scheme. Race face driver Sam Mayer, Ryan Vargas, and Anthony Alfredo will be in competition at the Full Throttle Fall Weekend at New Hampshire International Speedway this weekend. The trio will compete in the NASCAR k and Pro East Series portion of that weekend with Vargas suiting up for Rev Racing and Alfredo and Mayer running for MDM Motorsports. Now let's check in on our race face next drivers. Bryce Bizanson was at Dimming Speedway where rain played a big part in this night of racing. The track stayed damp all night and was very slippery, but Bryce managed a third place finish in his heat, then brought home another top 10 finish in the A main. Up next for Bryce, he will be back at Dimming on September the 21st. Race face next driver Joey East was also at Madera Speedway for the Harvest Classic in his number 17 USAC Western Midget. On Friday, Joey finished second in the heat race got caught up in an incident in the A-Main, but rebounded to a fourth place finish. That's an example where performance outweighed the results. Good job, Joey. On Saturday, the youngster finished second in the heat and then repeated the same result with a second place finish in the A-Main. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. Make sure to catch up on any shows that you might have missed at raceface.tv on demand. Remember that we offer Dale Jr. Download from Dirty Mo Media and the Stock Car Show from Race Chaser Media as part of our Race Face TV lineup of shows. Please make sure to like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Race Face TV and share with your racing friends. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community and we'll see you back here next week with more driver updates from your favorite Race Face drivers.